All right, so let's take a look at how to pass parameters to functions in PowerShell. There's a few different ways we can do it, and I'm going to go through those different ways. In these functions that I have defined here, they all do exactly the same thing. The only difference is the way that we're passing parameters to them. So after I run this code, these functions will be created, and down here, they will run and you'll see that I've already supplied some parameters to them now let's look at how you supply parameters to functions that you're calling you can either use the PowerShell um, little uh, parameter notation for the variable names that you've created so in this case I'm passing a variable called Q and a variable called file in my first function so I can actually um, supply them out of order because my variable file is defined first in my PowerShell script uh, but I'm supplying it secondly you'll see here I'm supplying it as the first parameter so that's one way to supply them you can also just supply them by putting a space between the variable and the uh, function name and then if you want to add more it's just more spaces and um, you, you repeat it like that so let's take a look at the functions now you'll see that the code on the bottom parts of the functions are all the same the only difference is the parameters so in the first case we are uh, defining the parameters that we want to pass to this function by uh, putting them inside a parentheses outside of the script block and I have a variable called file and a variable called Q separated by a comma and those were the parameter names that we were able to supply down here. You'll see they even show up in IntelliSense and it says that I have not supplied the file parameter. So coming back up here, um, that's one way to supply them. Now we also have a function down here and we're supplying them inside of the script block using this param statement. And the, uh, the param statement has to be the first line of executable code within your function and then much like the first case inside of parentheses you supply your variables now you'll notice that I'm doing something different in this uh, variable I'm doing two things I'm I'm uh, supplying a type for one of my variables so you can specify a type to be included and I'm also setting a default value for that function so if somebody does not supply the, f the file variable it will use the the default um, so that is the second way to pass parameters to a function and this is also how to specify types and to set default values for your parameters now here's the third way to uh, get parameters inside of a function we have a special reserved variable in PowerShell called args and args contains um, the the elements of parameters that were passed so uh, the way that you can define which element that you want to grab inside of a PowerShell array which the args variable is is to um, supply its position value in between brackets so inside this function when I say file is assigned args 0 I'm telling it to grab the first pos positional parameter and assign it to file and then I'm, I'm separating my code here and I'm doing the same thing with the second uh, parameter supplied and that's it so now I'm gonna run this these these uh, functions here and you'll see they all do the same thing they're just pulling the creation time they're doing it for different folders now let's take a closer look at the second um, uh, function up here where I said that it will use whatever is the default well let's change it real quick run it again we'll see here we're looking at February 21st 2012 and now it's changed to 2007 which is the Windows directory if I remove the parameter altogether 
you'll see that it defaults to that WinPE folder that we have supplied it. Um, likewise, if I put a string inside of this queue, which we have defined to be an int, we will get an error. Um, so those are just some examples of passing parameters to functions and how you can get them inside your functions and use them inside your code. So thanks for watching.